Hey guys, welcome to the Simple Straight Talk Show. Today, I want to jump into a conversation real quick, and then I want to come back with a longer video after I get some feedback from everybody. Now, here's the thing. For those of you who watch my channel and listen to my podcast, uh, if you've been to my website, you know that I love HBCU bands. I'm a big supporter of HBCUs. Now, one of the things that came up that I spoke about earlier was the fact that FAMU is moving to the SWAC. Now, I didn't get into all the logistics and a couple of people kind of blasted me in the comments about you didn't say why. You know, I, I want to I wanna look at the fun aspect of it, the entertainment aspect of it, because there's plenty of other people that have already done two and three hour videos on why FAMU moved to the SWAC. But now I want to talk about the impact of FAMU going to the SWAC. Not the entire video, but I want to speak about it from the band perspective. Now, when we talk about HBCU bands, everybody know it's showtime. Everybody know when HBCU bands are walking in, there is a crowd, there is a line because people want to see them. Everybody, when it's time for the bands to hit the field, nobody's going to get hot dogs, nobody's going to get drinks. Every person with a camera or a video is recording and videoing every aspect. Now, one of the things I also want to get into in another video is, you know, because we all hear about the drum majors. We all hear about the dancers. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about the Stingettes, the Black Foxes, the j Seth, the Golden Girls, the Dancing Dolls. You know, those are some of the most common ones that people talk about. But you know, you got hot ice with Norfolk State. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot to that. You got the dancers. But you also got the band itself. The drum lines are often um, shouted out. But one aspect of the bands that I rarely see people talk about is the flag corps or the color guard. You know what I'm saying? Because I think they need a little bit more props because when you really focus in, like when I watch HBCU bands, I like to actually watch the entire thing. So it's not just about the the talented young women dancing or the talented young people playing the instruments or the athletic and skill set drum majors but also i like to watch the uh you know the flag core i like to watch them because some of them are really skilled the silkettes we're gonna get into that but here's the thing i want to ask y'all something when it comes to HBCU bands, here's question number one. Which band do you think closes out their field show best? Now, when you when I say close out the field show, that means they came on field, they done their first uh, musical routine, they got into the dance routine, and now they're leaving the field. What band you think leaves something for the audience? Now, some bands, once they do the dance routine, you know, they might play the school alma mater song and just kind of come to the sideline and leave. Some give a little extra. Now, I got one band in mind. I don't want to say their name, but I kind of want you to kind of give me your thoughts of who you think it is. Okay? Now, what band do you feel, this question number two, what band do you feel comes for people the most? Like, guarantee, whoever they play, they coming for you. They, I mean, they, they coming for you. They calling you out on your field. They coming for you. Now, I got a band for that too. I already know who I got in mind for that. You know, next question. What's your surprise band? What, what's a band that you see, but like they're good, but when it comes to a battle of the bands, they can turn up. It's one band that, that kind of shot me. Now I knew I knew I knew they had some they had some funk about them. But uh they can get nasty with it. And I say nasty in a respectful way as far as like just it just just going all out. Going all out. So I want you to answer those three questions for me. Okay, what band you think can close out a field show the best? What band you feel HBCU band that comes 
for people. And when I say come for people, they let you know when they come on the field that your show was trash, you're not the real thing, we're gonna show you how to do it, you know what I'm saying? So what band you feel covers that aspect? What was my third question? What band, man, I got so many thoughts going to my head about bands right now. Third question, what band? What band? I can't remember my third question. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm probably gonna put it right here anyway so y'all can see it. But that's the thing, man. So answer those three questions for me, then I'm gonna come back and do another video and I definitely wanna, you know, really highlight some of the bands because there's some bands I think that don't get the props they deserve. Now, because I'm gonna tell you a band right now that we're gonna talk about a little later on in another video is uh, the Aristocrats of Bands, TSU. Tennessee State University is one of the, they're a very clean sounding band. Very clean sounding band. And when I hear people talk about bands, I don't hear TSU mentioned that much. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to bring that up. I definitely want to talk about TSU. And then we're going to get into FAMU's band also, because FAMU going to the swag, well, this is something I've already said. I think FAMU really has to step up their game when it comes to the band. I think football-wise, FAMU is going to do good in the swag. Band-wise, I think they're going to struggle. I really do. I think FAMU is going to struggle. Now, in my last video, somebody said that FAMU was going to get exposed because of their, you know, their techniques, their sort of inconsistency with some of their field show, their lineups, um, you know, but the thing about it is, I think FAMU has already been ex ex exposed when it comes to that. Now, don't get me wrong now, I, I still got respect and love for FAMU, but FAMU has fallen off. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say it. FAMU has fallen off, and I think they're trying to kind of reinvent themselves, but when you look at their field show, it's, it's, it's a bit sloppy at times. It really is. It's, it's a bit sloppy. And I think they are trying sometimes to really overcompensate because the name FAMU is big. But the problem is the quality of their performance is just not there. It's, it's, not, it's not where it was. So with them going to the swag, you know, I know some fam, you people gonna hate on me for this, but it's just real talk. You know, fam, you got to got to step up. Fam, you has got to step up. If they don't step it up, their band is gonna struggle in the swag because the swag is that's some of the tightest bands. Don't get me wrong. In the MEAC now, you know, you you, you got Norfolk State tight, Bethune Cookman. In my opinion, one of the most precise and precision bands on the field. And when, when I say Bethune Cookman field shows, now every once in a while I catch an error, you know, here and there. But for the most part, Bethune Cookman, they, they, they pretty tight with their field show. So, but we're going to talk about all that, man. I'm, I'm going to put the next video together and I'm going to start going through each band all the way from Morehouse, Tuskegee, Fort Valley, Langston, you know what I'm saying? South Carolina, Winston-Salem, you know what I'm saying? We're going to hit them all, all the way from Southern, uh, Jackson State, you know what I'm saying? We're going to hit everybody, everybody, but boom, we're going gonna to go down the list. We're gonna go down the list. We're gonna cover everybody. All right, so hopefully, I don't know if we're gonna get a, a football season this year, but it still don't mean we can't show support, show love, keep the minds of our uh, young, talented people. All right, so with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out the next video, man. Uh, I'll be right back. We're gonna do a we're gonna do some HBCU talk about these bands, man. HBCUs forever. Peace. I'm out. It's time to tune in. This here so fire. Empower your voice to inspire. Yeah, R M B I G.